Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code, and today I'm going to show you how to create 3D icons in just few steps, from the shape.so library to Cinema 4D. So let's begin. So let's start in the shape.so library. Over there, let's go to the search field and let's type location. Let's scroll down a little bit and I will select this pin icon. Before download, make sure you are selecting the SVG version of it and then hit download. Now, what we need to do next is to download the Cinema 4D plugin. This plugin will help us to transform our SVG to a 3D asset. Let's go to Cineversity and you can use the URL that I'm displaying on the screen. Then let's scroll a little bit down and you can click on the download icon. Like that you will have the plugin to install in Cinema 4D. Then we need to go to our Cinema 4D folder. And there, let's look for the plugins folder. Double click over there and we need to move the plugin that we just downloaded to this folder. So let's go to our download folder and over there let's unzip our plugin. Then let's drag this folder to the plugins folder. Okay, perfect. Now let's open Cinema 4D. From there let's go to plugins, CV Art Smart, and then CV Art Smart Object. Then let's click on the three small dots and we can select our SVG. Click open and there you go. Let's zoom in a little bit, so we can see our new asset. Okay, good. Now let's go to the bottom right of the screen and let's click on Show Hierarchy. And this will help us to see the different layers that we have in the new asset. Let's select the path layer and let's drag it out from the group. The path layer is the main one. It contains the essence of the asset. The rest of them are just some empty group layers. So it's okay to delete them. Okay, nice. So what we need to do next we need to polish a little bit more our icon. So make sure you're selecting the path layer and let's go to the caps tab. Over there, let's change a little bit the start and the end cap, which is the front and the back of the icon. So let's go to start and let's click on the drop down. Then let's change cap for fillet cap. Then on the steps, let's change one for 20 and let's give it a radius of one centimeter. Let's do the same thing for the end cap. So let's click on the drop down and let's change cap for fillet cap. Then let's change the steps from one to 20 and the radius from zero to one. Okay, perfect. Let's just scroll down a little bit and let's check the box that says create a single object. Like that we are making sure that we are closing any gap that it may be on the asset. Then let's select the scale tool and let's reduce a little bit the thickness of the icon. Okay, nice. Now let's change the perspective of the icon and let's move it above the default plane. Like that, we will be able to inspect the icon in more detail. So what we need to do now, we need to fix some of the imperfections that we got the moment when we import the icon from SVG to Cinema 4D. These small imperfections may not happen all the time, but just make sure that before you will export your 3D icon, you are not missing these small details. Okay, now let's change the display and let's choose lines. I will zoom in a little bit and as you can see, we have this small dent, but this is super simple to fix it. The only thing we need to do is to choose the point of the dent and then we can delete it. So let's go to path and from there let's choose the spline path. Then let's click on points and we can select the point of the dent. We will select this point and then we delete it. Okay, nice. And let's go to the other side of the icon and let's do the same process. So we select the point of the dent and then we delete it. And the same way for this other point. Okay, nice. Now let's zoom out and let's change again the display. And let's go back to go row shading. Okay, nice. Now let's select path and let's press the C key on your keyboard so we can make the asset editable. And just to explain you better this part, what we just did is very similar to the process of what you do when you're inside a design tool and you have a text and you want to convert it to outline. Okay, now make sure you're selecting the path and click on model. Then select the live selection. And what I want to do next is to create like a small animation. So what I want to do is to rotate the icon using its Y axis. And to give more seconds to the animation, we need to change the number of frames. So let's go to the render settings and in output on frame range, let's change from zero to 90 frames. Okay, perfect. Then let's click on this big red button, which is the automatic keyframe, 
so it will record every keyframe that we are changing in our 3D icon. Then let's select path and let's click on this other button so it can start recording our keyframe. And over here let's type 360 so the icon can do a 360 rotation. Okay, nice. But as you may notice, we have a small problem with the Y axis. It's not center. So we will move a little bit the Z axis. Now let's try it again. Yeah, probably it needs a little bit more of help. Just right here. Okay, nice. And let's see again. Yeah, now it's working just fine. Just a quick side note, don't take as reference this other green line, because this is not part of the Y axis. So I will press again the auto cane to stop recording, and finally I will add a camera. And this camera will be useful in case we want to use this Cinema 4D file in After Effects, because it will give us the same angle that we are using right now. Finally, let's save our file. So let's go to File, and then let's select Save As, and you can type any name you want and then click on save. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video and I really hope you like it. And you may be wondering what else you can do with a 3D icon. So I have a couple of ideas. You can animate this 3D icon in After Effects. Then from After Effects, you can export the animation in multiple frames. And you can actually use these multiple frames, for example, in Webflow. And in Webflow, you have an option to animate while scrolling. And that's a really cool feature where you can use your After Effects animation and also your 3D icon. So these are just some options where you can put your 3D icon to the next level. If you like the video, give us the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions, please put it in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.